time. Hashtag rig. It is majorly rigged here, but no, it is not rigged. This match that is now unfolding before us, we have a new match with normal rules and switching on. On the blue team, we have ourselves a Vigorot, a Ninjask, and a Sub Viper. And on the red corner, it's why not? Empoleon and Centrix. Plenty of time to get in on this one. We have over three minutes and 30 seconds left for the betting period. Do we get a little bit of an extended advice period here from Mr. Brian the Gamer? Let's take a look at these sets here. Switching is on here, but why not's ability says not so much. That, it, that Shadow Tag ability will prevent Vigoroth from switching out here. And with Vigoroth having only... Well, I actually am corrected. It, I thought it had only physical boost, but it does have flamethrower here. So why not's going to have a hard time being able to counter or mirror code it here. But the red team could switch out their why not. So we will see which strategy each of these teams elect to choose. And again, just a little less than three minutes remaining now in this exciting match betting period. Get your bets in the blue corner right now. Heavily the underdogs, 798% potential payout. The top two bettors on the red team have gone all in. They believe in their team to bring them to victory. We will see if that happens here in just over two minutes. Boy, hopefully this match is just as exciting as that last match. We were really getting into it there, Brian. Oh, that last match was insane. I love crazy matches like that. Oh, and I hope this one will be just as good. And again, our next Pokemon run is Pokemon Pyrite, which will air in a little just over 28 days. Pokemon Pyrite. I do not know much about it, but I'm looking forward to it. It's a new Pokemon game, and that's exciting. Always is it saying here on Twitch Plays Pokemon. Time is slowly winding down here in the betting period. Currently, the red team is still heavily favored for a victory here, and the blue team is the underdog. But still, put a little bit of time left if you'd like to bet on this match. I should also know we are just about 30 minutes away from the PBR season ending, which means your balances are going to be reset as soon as you get some nice, nice rewards. Everyone, there will be crates given out here. The higher you rank up on the leaderboard, the more crates you will receive. And those crates can include some very, very nice items. Also coming up in a little over 30 minutes, a few changes that will be added here to Twitch Plays Pokemon, so stick around for those as well. Always an exciting season change here. See where your leaderboard rank is at. Down to 45 seconds left in the betting period. The red team still in favor of the victory here and the blue team for an underdog payout. And now 30 seconds remain as now, whoa, it's the Planet Theme 1 from Street Fighter in 2010. Wait, no, in 1990, I should say. I was I am tricked, so confused. Brian. When did this game come out? It was either 2010 or 1990. Why not just do the middle and do 2000? All right. 10 seconds left. The betting period is winding down here. Red Team is now more in favor of a victory here. We will see if they are able to pull it off. And our match now underway in the blue corner, heavily the underdogs now, 1,136% potential payout. The Lagoon Coliseum now comes up, the only Coliseum you can have with two human players. On the blue corner, Figura on the red corner, why not? The red corner once again commanded by John Cena in the burning battlefield. And here we go, we will get this match started here. Figura will be moving first and it goes for the flamethrower. Good hit right off the bat here. Why not down? Just a little bit of help there. Why not tries to go for the counter attack, but flamethrower is a special move and that fails. What a terrible move by Why Not there. Let's see what happens in this next turn. Is bigger off another night slash coming in. Well, it's the first one I should say. That is a super effective hit here. Why not now down to half health here? Why not goes for the mirror coat, but that fails as night slash is a physical move. 
It looks like Vigoroth has Why Not's number here, and it looks like Vigoroth cannot be switched out. Vigoroth goes for the Night Slash again here. This is going to be super effective, bringing Why Not down to critical oh! health. Why, Why Not is able to pull off the counter here. That's going to hit back at Vigoroth. Oh! oh! Dang, Both quarters at critical health. This is anybody's battle here, Brian. Oh, Why Not is able to consume its cuss tap berry here and move first and set up with the oh! Destiny Pawn. What an interesting strategy to hear. A headbutt from Vigoroth. That's going to take down Why Not. That's also going to take down Vigoroth. It's a double KO here. Both Vigoroth and Why Not are down. So each trainer has only two Pokemon remaining. A two-on-two -two battle and high stakes on the blue corner right on this match. Switching is enabled here, so will we see Ninjask or Viper from the blue corner? I think we're going to be seeing Subviper. So Viper on the blue corner. Red corner sends out Empoleon. I almost said Print Fluff. Let's get this battle going again. So Viper is going to be moving first here. It goes for the Poison Jab, but that does not affect the Steel-type Empoleon. Empoleon decides to take this opportunity to raise its attack. Hopefully it's worth it here. Sword Stance set up here from the red corner, and so Viper now switches over to the Iron Tail. Not very effective on Empoleon, barely a scratch there. Empoleon responds by first dropping its defense from that attack, and then going for another Sword Stance. That's plus four attack, Brian. Empoleon is working towards backing out an attack here, as so Viper can barely do any damage to this Pokemon. And Polyon moving first this turn. Here comes an Aqua Jet. Very powerful hit there. So Viper now down to 40% health here as Polyon is hurt from Sub Viper's Jaboka Berry. And a body slam coming in from the Sub Viper on the Penguin. And it looks like just a very light hit there. Oh, it is paralyzed. now paralyzed though, so there is a chance it will be unable to move. This changes the complexity of this battle up. John Cena ordering Empoleon to go for another Aqua Jet. Will it be enough for Survivor to go down? Yes, it is. Survivor so wasn't able to take it, so it does faint. It's going to be all up to Ninjask to deal with Red's Pokemon. A two-on-one battle. Here comes Ninjask for the blue corner. Will they be able to pull it off with their last Pokemon? Ninjas moving first with a U-turn on the Empoleon. Not very effective hit though, but Empoleon is now down under half health and it is fully paralyzed and unable to move. Not a good break for the blue, the red corner here. Very good for the blue corner as they have not had one hit on them. Empoleon still can't move. Ninjas with another U-turn. It's going to be not very effective though, but Empoleon is now going to be down to critical health. One more U-turn will likely be finishing it off here, as Ninja's speed goes even higher with its speed boost. What will happen in this next turn? Ninja's moving first. Another U-turn. Will it be enough to finish off Empoleon? Yes, it is. Empoleon goes down, so now it's going to be up to Sentret here to finish off this Ninja's. The last two Pokemon will take to the field. And the excitement in this Coliseum has just been turned up to 11. 11? It feels more like 30 11. Wait, that's not a number. <laughs> Centric comes out for John Cena's team. It's his final Pokemon. 1,136% potential payout. Roars on Ninja it comes in with a U-turn on the Centric here, taking it down. Oh, look at that! Centric's health is now low. It's going to be responding with a double-edge attack. Critical hit! Oh Ninja goes goodness. down! Will Sentry go down? Oh, Sentry goes down! Dang. Ladies and gentlemen, no one gets the payout! This match is a draw! That was insane! What an insane ending to that match! A double KO here from the red corner, and we have ourselves a draw! That means all proceeds go to the commentator's fund! Oh yeah, baby Brian, we just won! Oh yeah, we won big time! That was a great match, holy cow!
unbelievable match right up to the end. Too bad for both the teams there. Just that was an amazing match. The result is a draw. You don't get more exciting than that, Brian. That was an intensely exciting match. Oh, it, it, and Pulleon being fully paralyzed there two turns in a row, and then that critical hit there at the end from Centret. I was not expecting a draw whatsoever, but neither that was, was a well I. hard fought battle from both corners. Two tokens on the line now for Pokemon Ash. Great, get your inputs in. Thank you again to Brigif19 for adding that extra token. As uh, the shop and Squirtle from the Pokemon channel plays in the background. What a fitting end to the, that match, though, that music. Oh, man, that was that was just awesome. That was so amazing. I love matches like that where you just have absolutely no idea what's going to end, and then it just ended in a draw. And that, honestly, I don't know about the people who played it, but that was a great draw. It was fun to watch. And thank you to Techno Freak 101 for adding another token. Now, three tokens on the line as we continue to move left here. Congratulations to all of the winners. Our next match now getting decided here. Brian, could it be? Oh no, Brian. Oh boy, I haven't done a speed match in forever. Tell you what, I'll take the blue corner, you take the red corner. Speaking of the blue corner, it's the Wismer, Pikachu, and Trapion. And on the red team, it's Chingling, Graveler, and Pidgey. This, of course, being a speed match, meaning that this match is going to go really quick. Really quick. But in the meantime, enjoy the soothing sounds of Dire Dire Dock from Super Mario 64. We gotta get our voices prepared for this, especially after that exciting last match. I'm gonna try to see if I can find uh, some fitting music, or does someone, anyone know some good music for a speed match? It's been a while since I've done one. It looks like actually Andy Asteroids will be playing here as our battle song in this exciting match. Speaking of which, Brian, do you have any analysis on this match? Switching is enabled here, but with swi uh, swi <laughs> this being a speed match here, switching it will be very difficult to pull off, but it is possible here. Chinglin will be faster than the Wismer right out of the gate here, and it could elect to set up one of its uh, screens there, but switching with the speed match, it can be a little bit tricky here. I don't want to read too much into it, because I'm pretty sure everything is not going to go quite exactly how everyone wants it to be planned. A random song has been bid for the next song, so we don't even know what's going to play next. A random song. All right, I like random songs. There are probably hundreds, if not thousands, of songs for it to pick from. Last I checked, I believe there is around 10,000 songs in TPP's Reservoir. Repository. I don't know. Some R word. All right, so do you want to be taking this one, or do you want to do it together? How do you want to break this one down? I, I will go with the blue corner, Brian, and I will have you go with the red corner. All we'll right, fight I will this one out. I will run out what the red corner is doing. Let's go, red team. I believe in you. And with 30 seconds remaining, here comes the curse of the black chest. Get your last second bits in on this exciting, very fast match. 20 seconds left in this betting period. Currently, the blue team is in favor of victory and the red team for an underdog payout. But the odds are getting ever closer. And our speed match now underway. The blue corner will send out the Wismer. The red corner sending out their Chingling. Let's see what Coliseum we're going to. We're going now to the Main Street Coliseum. John Cena sends out its jingling. And it looks like right off the bat, Blue Corner will be sitting out for Sting back to Wismer coming in with, now with the Drapion. Jingling is going for the Psychic, but that does not affect the Dark type Drapion. Drapion now moving first with a Dark Pulse on Jingling. Super Magna taking it down. Oh no, it goes off. Jingling goes down to critical health here, goes for another Psychic attack, but it fails yet again. 
Jingling is going to be switching out their Pokemon here. We will now see Graveler take to the field. Drapion with another hidden power on the Graveler. Super effective on the Graveler taking it all down to critical health. Graveler is going to be swapped out yet again here, and we will see Pidgey take to the field for the red team. Drapion another hidden power, and here comes Pidgey. Critical hit! Taking it down to just over one half health. Drapion right. moving again. First here on the hidden power, taking it down. No, just under half health. Pidgey restores his health thanks to his Citrus Fairy, and it goes for the Brave Bird attack coming in. It's no Brave. Solid hit there. Pidgey takes a little bit of damage thanks to Recoil. Drapion again, another Dark Souls on the Pidgey here, taking it down. A down goes Pidgey. Pidgey does faint there from that attack here, and now the red team's gonna need to switch into new Pokemon. We will see Chingo take to the field yet again. Drapion again moving first, hidden power on the Chingo. Dare critical hit! Down it goes! Chingling is down now, and it's gonna be up to a very badly injured Graveler to take on the blue team. And Drapion with the last move here on the Graveler. Oh, Graveler tightening his focus. Here comes the hidden power onto the Graveler, taking it down, and a clean sweep executed by the blue corner to end this beat at. Congratulations to everyone on the blue corner. You win a 71% payout. Part 5 battle from the green trainer. John Cena, better luck next time. Well, Brian, that was exciting. <laughs> that was actually a lot of fun. That's the first time I've done it with someone else. And it was actually, it worked pretty well. It worked absolutely beautifully. Congratulations to the blue corner on a clean sweep victory. I don't even think they took any damage there either. They took... No, you're right. They took absolutely no damage. They switched to Drapion right... No, no, they took a Brave Bird. That is it. Oh, that is correct, yes. So it's not a flawless victory, but a clean sweep anyway. And get your inputs in now. Pokemon Trash Grave. One token remains on the line here as we walk through the valley or the forest or some path. We're 10 years old. I don't know why we're walking alone anyway. Yeah, where are our buddies Brock and Misty? I believe they were following around at this point in the story. I think they uh, they got arrested. Oh, they got arrested, man. That's I, I, that's a tough break. I mean, it, Kanto's weird, man. It's just... Gee. Don't want to get in the Kanto jail. It's probably from Brock hitting on Officer Jenny so many times. And Misty, I don't know. I, I, just, I have nothing on her. Misty was just there. <laughs> And congratulations to Troll Dude 373 for winning the token. Our next 